he brings the water back to the institute as specimen. First, he taps the bottom of the container to activate the water. Then, he squirts one milliliter of water onto each petri dish. In order to obtain a more accurate crystallization trend, we create 50 frozen samples of every water specimen. The petri dishes are placed inside a freezer in the laboratory and frozen at minus 25 degrees centigrade. The crystals are then examined inside our laboratory, where the temperature remains at a constant minus 5 degrees centigrade. Three hours later, we examine the tip of each ice block by illuminating it under a microscope. The crystals start to grow and expand as the temperature of the ice tip rises under the microscope. Usually, however, of the 50 ice blocks that we have to work with, only a few reveal their beautiful hexagonal crystals on camera. What kind of crystal will the water from Shiraito no Taki Falls show us? A beautiful hexagonal crystal with delicate trimmings growing slowly from the six points of the hexagonal core. In one quick moment, our researcher identifies a sparkle and photographs it, all within minutes while the crystal continues to grow and expand before it returns to its liquid state. A lateral view of the ice block reveals a protrusion at the top. That is because rather than growing two-dimensionally, water crystals grow three-dimensionally from the center of the core out. Unlike tap water, water from natural sources produces a variety of beautiful crystal structures, captivating our eyes. This is water revealing another side of itself. Photographs that capture the unique radiance of water in its crystal form can be our guides into the esoteric world of water. <laughs>